Hi there and welcome to this day in history for July 15th. July 15th is the 196th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 197th in leap years, with 169 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is cheval de bataille. This is a noun that means favorite topic, hobby horse, an argument constantly <laughs> relied on, <laughs> a favorite subject, a signature performance piece, forte. It comes from French, of course, and the literal translation is battle horse. Plural is chevaux de bataille, but I'm pretty sure most people only employ one at a time. <laughs> And with that, we're going to start with the dedication of the Temple of Castor and Pollux in ancient Rome in the year 484 BC. That was a very long time ago. Castor and Pollux are mythological twins born of the same mother but with different fathers. Castor's father was a mortal and Pollux belonged to Zeus. Pollux asked Zeus to let him share his own mortality with his twin brother to keep them together and as a result, they were transformed into the constellation of Gemini, the twins. Castor and Pollux are regarded as patrons of sailors and are also associated with horsemanship. The reconstructed Church of the Holy Sepulchre was consecrated in Jerusalem on July 15, 1149. This is the birthday of Dutch painter and etcher Rembrandt, born July 15, 1606. He lived to the age of 63. The Rosetta Stone was found in the Egyptian village of Rosetta on July 15, 1799 by French Captain Pierre-Francois Bouchard during Napoleon's Egyptian campaign. On July 15, 1806, Army Lieutenant Zebulon Pike began an expedition from Fort Bellefontaine near St. Louis, Missouri to explore the West. On July 15, 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte surrendered aboard the HMS Bellerophon. Fire destroyed the ancient Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls of Rome on July 15, 1823. The Spanish Inquisition was officially disbanded on July 15, 1834 after nearly 356 years. This is the birthday of songwriter Dorothy Fields, born July 15, 1904. If that name doesn't ring a bell for you, perhaps you've heard some of her work. She wrote such songs as On the Sunny Side of the Street, I'm in the Mood for Love, and Big Spender. Ms. Fields lived to the age of 69. On July 15, 1916, William Boeing and George Conrad Westervelt incorporated Pacific Aero Products, later renamed Boeing. On July 15, 1954, we see the first flight of the Boeing 367-80, prototype for both the Boeing 707 and C-135 series. Today's song is Shadow Dancing by Andy Gibb, number one on July 15, 1978. Andy Gibb was the youngest of five children. His three older brothers had formed the group the Bee Gees. While the four of them occasionally performed together, they were separate acts, the Bee Gees and Andy Gibb. This disco hit was written by all four of the brothers Gibb, performed by Andy, and released in April of 1978. It actually hit number one back in June, making this the fifth week of seven at the number one spot. Andy had struggled with cocaine addiction for several years in his 20s. He did finally get clean and sober, but those years of cocaine abuse led to myocarditis, which killed him just five days after he turned 30 in 1988. Heartbroken by the shocking news of his passing, his fans can be consoled by the great music he left behind, including shadow dancing, Number one, July 15th, 1978. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos 
I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no, really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.